Hey, this is Samantha here from RecipeThis.com and the voice behind the Popular Kitchen Gadgets podcast, A Magic with Gadgets. Today I'm here to show you just how easy it is to cook a whole chicken in the air fryer. It's twice as fast compared to the oven. It's lovely and crispy with a lot less oil and it's fuss free for something quick and easy for uh, midweek dinners. Well, before we dive into this recipe, I just wanted to suggest that you head over to RecipeThis.com. We've got more than 1,200 kitchen gadget recipes, including recipes for the air fryer, instant pot, slow cooker, soup maker, bread maker, microwave, ninja foodie, and many others. We also have a free weekly newsletter, which you can find on the homepage of RecipeThis.com, or you can find it on RecipeThis.com forward slash newsletter, and there you can get our best kitchen gadget recipes sent to your inbox every Friday morning. Now let's jump into our air fryer whole chicken. To start with, what I'm using is I'm using a large whole chicken from Tesco's, like this one here. Dominic was kind enough to go and get it for me for this video. Uh, I'm just looking to see what the weight is on this. Right, it's 1.7 kilos, which is um, about three and a half pounds, I believe, or somewhere around there. Um, oh no, sorry, it's 3.4 pounds. And then you want to open it up, and then you just want a clean chopping board or somewhere where you can work on with your chicken. So, chicken out, place it on your chopping board. And then let me show you it here so that you can see what our chicken looks like. I'm just going to discard this bag. And then what you want your focus to be on is to get some extra virgin olive oil and a quick layer of seasoning onto your whole chicken so that it's going to have a lovely flavour to it once it's cooked. But note, what you actually do with a whole chicken is you cook it breast side down first. So what you want to do is you want to turn it over for seasoning. So bum up. And then what we do first is we add the extra virgin olive oil spray. Before you wonder why, it's like the seasoning sticks to it like glue because it's creating that texture for your seasoning. So you just Rub it all in, and then once you've done that, before you touch your seasonings, you'll need to wash your hands, if you used for it. And then what I recommend is salt, lots of salt, we love our salt on chicken. I recommend sea salt. Then your pepper. And then once you've done your pepper, any kind of mixed herbs or green herbs that you like, you know, you can do dill tops, you can even do coriander if you want, you can do mixed herbs, parsley, oregano, basil, whatever your favourite is. I'm going with oregano because I just absolutely love oregano on my chickens. And then just sprinkle some oregano across your chicken. And now it's ready to go in the air fryer. It's as simple as that for actually seasoning your chicken. And it's also perfect for if you're a single person because you can have some of the chicken over a couple of meals. Then you've got your air fryer basket. And then you just want to grab your chicken like this and place it in the air fryer basket. I've got the Cassore air fryer and I've got the Philips air fryer XL. I find the cook times is very, very similar on both of them. But the benefit the Cassore has over the Philips is it's slightly taller there. So if you're cooking a chicken that's large or extra large, it will fit better in the Cassore. And then give your hands another wipe. And then it's time to set the timer on 10. And it goes, like I say, make sure the chicken is not touching the top there because you'll end up burning the top of the chicken. And then you want the uh, 
temperature to 190 Celsius, that's 360 Fahrenheit. And then you want the temperature, uh, not sorry, the temperature, the cook time to 25 minutes. And then we can check on the chicken and turn it over. That means that the whole chicken has done 25 minutes now, breast side down. Let's check on it. Oh, and wow, isn't that colour on the chicken amazing? So now your job is to literally do what you expected to do really, which is turn the chicken over, season and oil it on the other side, and then carry on the cooking process. So the easiest way to do this is to get your fork in the middle, and simply turn it. Like that. And then it's on the other way around for you. Chef Hubby does it a lot more elegantly than me, but you know, I'm just uh, the wife at home that cooks. So now, uh, once you've done that, you want to get your extra virgin olive oil spray out again. Spray it. You'll notice with the cassori, it kind of has imprints on it from the bottom of the basket, but there's nothing wrong with that. Just gives it a bit of character. And then pepper. And then salt. And then last on the list, some extra oregano. It just adds such lovely flavour to it. And the crispy skin is amazing on the air fryer whole chickens. When people talk about the thing that uh, changed their world about using the air fryer, they all say the whole chicken. I asked my husband what's his favourite food in the air fryer. It always says the chicken because it's just amazing. So now it's done. 25 minutes a breast side down. It's now up. Let's do another 20 minutes and then check on it. But my legs aren't quite down so I'm just pressing them down you've got to be um, cautious of the size of your chicken because you don't want it to be touching the air vents at the top because then you'll end up with a burnt bit on your chicken and then on again 180 celsius that's 360 fahrenheit and then up to 20 minutes and we can do a, a check to see how far along it is and we've beeped. So let's check on our air fryer whole chicken, shall we? I think this is the most exciting bit. And wow, that is what you call a perfectly cooked whole chicken in the air fryer. It really is as simple as that to cook a whole chicken. And I just wish more beginners to the air fryer did it as one of the first recipes, just because it's one of those things that would make them fall in love with the air fryer and realize how good it is. You know, it's it's a simple method to follow. Breast side down, then breast side up, making sure that you've got extra virgin olive oil spray uh, across all the skin bits, depending which way up it's actually sat in the air fryer with a nice bit of seasoning. You can mix up the seasoning. Another one of my favorites is salt, pepper, mixed herbs, and sweet paprika. I mean, that that is absolutely delicious. And when my husband does it, he just does it plain salt and pepper. And that is just perfect for a quick chicken. And it's very much like the chickens that you would get on the rotisserie at the supermarket. And then beyond doing it like this in the cassori or a regular air fryer basket, um, another favorite option is if you've got an air fryer oven, and then it rotates as it cooks and then it's even more like the supermarket chickens or if you've got a ninja foodie we've got a recipe and video for ninja foodie whole chicken or if you've got an instant pot we've also got a recipe there and when we did the instant pot version what we did is we'd heard that it was um six uh, six minutes per pound of chicken so we experimented with lots of different chicken sizes to see how that worked and you know there's just so much scope when it comes to a whole chicken and you can also cook your stuffing balls at the same time your roast potatoes just place some in the gaps and it just works out perfectly you know and then this you could chop it up you don't have to have it as a whole chicken you could 
uh, like in our house, one of us wants the thighs, another one wants the drumsticks. I always want the breast, you know, it just depends. And if you're on Weight Watchers and the rest of the family isn't, remove the skin and have the breast. It's as simple as that. And it's just great as an all rounder. So here's to air fry a whole chicken. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the Recipe This family. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook and Pinterest. We also have a weekly newsletter at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter where we share with you our latest kitchen gadget recipes, what we're cooking in the Milner kitchen and so much more. As well as this, we recommend that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and then whenever we have a new video, you will be the first to know. And if you want to know about all our future videos, then I recommend you hit the bell for instant notifications. But even better, we now have a podcast. It's called Magic with Gadgets. Simply search Magic with Gadgets on your favourite podcast player and you'll find us there.